I just want to know why I'm still receiving these. Like for what? Why are these advertisement papers still coming through the letterbox? Like why? Why are you encouraging me to see deals and then head to the shops? Why are you encouraging me to head outside when you want me to stay indoors? Why are you encouraging me to touch this packet of advertisement papers that I don't know who else has touched them? I understand the wee letter boy or girl needs to make their coins too in these times. But can't they be, I don't know, handing out, I don't know, like masks that somehow have been provided by the government? This is very wishful thinking but yeah can't they be handing out leaflets leaflets that tell us what to do in these times leaflets that tell us what to worry about what not to worry about leaflets that tell us whether taxes need to be done or not whether we need to go to the tax man or not because uh well we know we're all afraid of the tax man irs whatever you want to call them wherever you are in this world man's afraid of these people and don't want to get into trouble so people are still out here going to these people wherever they are and they still need money so they're going to wherever they are to go with all the papers and all the documents that they need and yeah so that they can fill out their taxes because we don't know if this stuff is going to be postponed or not all this stuff that we need to do regular life seems to be carrying on even though people are losing jobs even though all these things are happening so these adverts that you're you keep putting through my letterbox (laughs) i don't need them i don't want them i don't understand why they're here i don't understand understand why they're putting their people that are distributing these things and usually they're very young children to be honest where i am uh why they're putting them at risk of catching something by walking out there in these streets like i don't understand i don't understand the point of them i don't understand why this is important right now i am absolutely confused but anyway that's not the only adverts i don't understand and i'm going to talk about some more right now but first And then there are people like Postman who are actually essential workers and go around sharing letters and things because people need those in this time. This particular Postman was extremely helpful to this lady over here and got her some groceries and a nice bouquet of flowers. Isn't that lovely? So yeah, we do need these people. But then whatever does come through the letterbox, let it be important like what this man is delivering. Let it not be something that's going to entice me to run to the shops when we are supposed to be staying at home what's up youtube what's cool what's cool what's happening a lot so i'm back here with another covid19 commentary um there is one thing that i've noticed that is just driving me absolutely nuts and that is the advertisement that we are getting in these times in these times of crisis in these times of a pandemic the adverts are whack as anything here is an advert to go to this place in belgium that was in one of the advertisement papers. Okay, so that was about two weeks ago. And even then, I was quite on edge and I was angry because I was like, why are we still advertising these things? I was completely confused. And um, because even then, to me, it was quite evident from watching the news, and all these different news places and seeing what was going on around the world, that it was not wise to travel. And I even wanted to make a video called Stop Traveling. Stop, Stop traveling! traveling! And I'm realizing now that I might still have to make that video because people need to know that traveling is not of the essence right now. But people still are. Just now with the Easter holiday, people have been trying to cross borders and they've had to have police and all kinds of people standing across the borders telling people to literally go back to their countries because this ain't the time. This is still happening now. It is April the 10th. We are deep into this pandemic and people still don't get the point that stop traveling. We don't care how good the weather is. We don't care that it's Easter. Stay home. And when you're on YouTube, you get some adverts as well that are just, we don't need that right now. You know, there's certain things that nobody's checking for right now. I've seen on the television, I've seen a lot of more adverts for like cold-like symptoms. But again, I think that's actually triggering people to run to the pharmacy like crazy and stock up on everything. They're saying, that they are seeing a record amount of people coming to the pharmacies and it is really hard to deal with the demand because obviously they're trying to get supplies in now if everybody just buys what they need when they need it it would help so much more so now even in the pharmacies they're trying to get like uh, final year students to come in maybe retired pharmacists and all that but they're thinking even that might not be enough because again you don't know if all these people are going to show up 
and again you don't know how much more panic buying is going to happen whether it escalates and every single time the measures get tightened a little bit more it's like people are itching more to go out there and get the last few things here and there the thing is that every time you go out there you are increasing your risk of catching this virus if you're just out in the open and there's not a lot of people around perfect that's fine but is it really fine? Because recent studies have shown that the coronavirus actually lasts way longer than we thought in the air. So it kind of hangs about. These are the recent studies, y'all. People are dying like crazy because there are more ways than what we have previously been told of how this virus spreads. I've been saying this for a while now because it is not possible the way this thing is spreading right about now. This thing seems to be spreading with domestic animals, seems to linger in the air longer, seems to stay on surfaces much longer than we thought. Even zoo animals are getting it now, and even children are getting this virus. Even though before we were told that children were not at risk. Oh, keep the playing grounds open. Oh, let them play outside, it's fine. Oh, let them continue to go to school, it's perfectly fine, because children are not at risk but now look. So the best advice I can give you is stay at home if you don't need to be somewhere important once you enter the shops it is a danger zone I've done it a few times in the last few weeks and it's it's actually been horrendous because you realize how not serious people are taking this thing so yeah um, the advertisement needs to change the advertisement needs to be geared towards what is happening in the world right now people need to be informed heck my last video I was here talking about influencers not doing their part by not talking about this COVID-19 as if it's not a thing, as if it's not happening. And just continuing to talk about hauls and makeup and all the rest of it. And in the same way, there is advertisers, I know that they've paid for it, but everybody's losing a buck right now. Everybody's losing money. We need more, even if those advertisements stay, we need more advertisements like from the NHS, from the WHO, from the CDC, from all these places, um, just reminding you, wash your hands. Like every now and again, let it just pop up on the screen. Wash your hands. You know, wash your hands. It's not everybody that's that's going to go around and be, be cleaning everything in the house. And so th there is still a, a possibility that things are not sterile, that your hands are not sterile and you're touching your face, your hands are not sterile or, or clean anyway, and you're touching your face or whatever. So we need more advertisement that is going to help us through this pandemic because knowledge is power. And sometimes you need to feed and force feed this knowledge into people's uh, brains, <laughs> mouth, <laughs> I don't know. You need to force feed it to them because otherwise, yeah, they will not do anything. These people that were doing their spring little spring break situation on the beach, they are not interested in seeking out the information. That information needs to be in their peripheral it needs to be everywhere so that they can soak it up whether they like it or yes just to give you an idea of how ridiculous the adverts are i was sitting here i saw an advert and there were insects in the wild and the, it, the colors were booming you know insects when you see them really closely like they have magnificent colors very bright very vibrant and it was all zoomed in on these insects and insects are obviously really small but they were taking up the entire screen and it was just amazing and they were out in the wild and they were like in the forest or whatever and the sun was just beaming and shining through and then they were just following these insects i'm like Ooh, what what are they what are they about to do so then it zoomed in and zoomed in and every one of these these insects maybe about 20 different of them were getting on that's what they were doing. On broad daylight, early in the morning, this was showing on national television. What was it for? It was for this like. And if you're not yet subscribed, I am Confusion. I mean, I post very frequently, so make sure you hit bump stomp as soon as I subscribe button, like, comment, and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Uh, how to say, like this kind of shop where they sell things to, to do your house, DIY stuff and whatever. And they were talking about making nature alive with what you're gonna do in your garden or whatever. What? First of all, y'all better stay inside. That's one. <laughs> Two. <laughs> like what kind of advert is that? In times such as these, I'm really realizing, and I wanted this to be a short video, but no, I, I can't. I can't, no, mm -mm. See, here's the thing. Um, 
yeah, you realize that everything is surround. It's it's everything surrounds around money. That's it. That's it. That's all. It's all because of money. Because the advertiser has paid a, a good buck to this company and so or to this uh, TV station. So they have to. They are obligated to. You know, pump out these adverts. That's all that it's about. And when they stop, they lose money. And people don't want to lose money right now. But it's not helping your people. It's not helping the people at all. Eh? Hmm. Well, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. We need Jesus up in this thing. Peace.